Wait a sec. Is that what I think it is? OMG! Colony E has also constructed their pillar of life, sideways. And look! I see brown and white buds growing on it. Termitomyces fungus. Confirmed. This episode is brought to you by our friends at the Ants Underground Kingdom, an awesome ant mobile game that everybody is raving about. Guys, if you want to experience what it's like being an ant in the wild, or what it's like running an entire wild ant colony, you need to check out this super cool game. They currently have their winter version available for players to explore and check out, which is causing all the rage right now in their rich world full of neat creatures and insects. I truly love their winter version because it adds a totally new aesthetic to the game play with unique holiday themed surprises for players to discover. Can you guess how ants celebrate Christmas? You'll need to play the game to find out. And guys, I want to help you out. If you're a player, just use my redeem code ANTS CANADA to obtain 50 eggs which can be used to obtain purple special ants and various rare resources to help you protect your ant kingdom. I also invite you all to join my server and join my alliance. Also worth noting that the Ants Underground Kingdom will release a new version on December 16th where apparently new epic heroes will be released, including what I hear is the largest monster in the game's world. Hmm, can you guess what monster that is? Can't wait to find out. Download the Ants Underground Kingdom now in the link I've placed in the description box. Let's build our ant kingdoms together. And now, on to the video. AC family, in last week's video, we finally spotted that one of our six termite colonies had indeed begun building their fungus comb, with confirmed termite fungus growing on it. But I do have an awesome update. Three of our termite colonies now have begun building their fungus combs. I can't wait to show you the updates. But first, for those of you who are new and may be wondering, okay, what's the big deal with all of this termite fungus business? Let me catch you newcomers up to speed real quick so you can understand why this is so awesome. Here on the channel, we've been following the development of six young termite colonies, a species known as Macrotermes gilvis, that aren't really the pestiferous home-destroying type of termites, but rather a cool species of termite that specialize in farming, a species of symbiotic termite fungus known as Termitomyces fungus. This Termitomyces fungus grows on a comb that the termites create within their nests, and the termites eat that fungus, seen as little white buds growing on the comb. But the thing is, Despite there being millions and millions of Queen and King married pairs starting off at nuptial flight, only a small fraction of Macrotermes gilvis colonies in the wild actually survive to become mature termite colonies. And the determining factor to survival? Whether or not the starting termite colonies can succeed at starting up their fungus comb. So here's where it gets hard. Get this. The Termitomyces fungus growing on the combs deep in the nests will at a certain time of the year actually send up these Termitomyces mushrooms which sprout out from the top of the termite mounds like in this photo. They're actually a delicacy and I can attest to their great taste as I've eaten some. But for those Termitomyces mushrooms that don't get picked off by mushroom hunting humans or animals, they release spores which are carried by winds to cover an entire area and land on decaying matter like rotting logs and leaves which the termites actively search for and eat. Within the termites gut, the spores mixed with decaying matter, soil and other enzymes and microbial biochemicals undergo a special processing and the poop that gets churned out becomes the comb which starts off as a pillar like structure. As we saw in last week's video, eventually the termites build onto this pillar structure and as the fungus grows, the comb turns brownish and white buds start to grow from it which the termites then eat. So you see, it's a very involved process. And if any of the elements to this termite fungus process are missing, for example, an absence of termitomyces spores when the termites forage, or things go wrong along the way, then the fungus comb fails at starting up. So far, two of our termite colonies have begun building a comb. But guys, as mentioned, three of our termite colonies now have started fungus combs. 
Let me show you these colonies now. First, the colony we saw at the end of last week's video. We call them Colony E. It's awesome! The colony had been feeding from the rotting wood I gave them. And the great news is, it does seem like that rotting wood did have the termitomyces spores on them. Because on their starting comb structure, I see spots of brown and little white buds. Isn't that amazing? It seems like this starting comb is the most developed of all other termite colonies with combs. As I see it is super long now and attached to the floor at at least two different spots. It's pretty incredible to see how busy they've been. And it's almost like this elongated comb structure just appeared out of nowhere one week. My concern now for this colony is that the test tube is definitely not enough space for the comb to come to completion. So I wonder if the termites will simply start extending the comb somewhere outside the test tube and perhaps build in this large cavernous spot inside the container? I placed this whole thing in the dark, so I truly hope that this is what they end up doing, especially because I want to be able to clearly document the whole fungus comb building process. Let's hope they do. But now we move on to a setup where we do clearly see everything. A colony we call Colony C. So Colony C last week had created this amazing pillar structure, their pillar of life, the starting of their fungus comb. A few of you pointed out that you do see little white buds sprouting from the pillar. Let's hope that's what we see and the fungus is indeed growing on there. But guys, check out what I spotted this week. A second little pillar starting up. I found it interesting that they stopped building and adding on to the larger pillar and started building a second pillar. I wonder if these two pillars would eventually connect and later become the familiar fungus comb shape. So far it seemed the two pillars were bending in the same way. I couldn't wait to see what would happen over the next few weeks with these two pillars. Would they start building a third or fourth pillar? So many questions but we just had to be patient and see what was coming up for Colony C's fungus building projects. Now AC family, here's a third colony that I noticed was also on their fungus comb building journey. Colony A. This colony showed evidence of foraging for the wood piece I placed into their enclosure. And last week, I couldn't exactly see into their test tube. But this week, as I was reviewing footage, I did spot that Colony A also had indeed begun their pillar of life. Do you see it there? This made me so happy. Not sure if I see brown in there or white buds, but I do definitely see some kind of poop structure in there, which was amazing because we discovered that these termites have mites. Not sure if they're a dangerous parasitic kind of mites or not, but it does seem like it hasn't hindered the colony from successfully making it to this fungus comb building stage. And so AC family, that's it. Three termite colonies that have begun building their fungus combs. This is pretty incredible because to the best of my knowledge, this fungus comb building process by these Macrotermes gilvis termites has not yet been documented in 4K video like this. What's even crazier is that as mentioned in previous videos on these termites, scientists still have not found a way to cultivate termitomyces mushrooms artificially indoors like we do with most agricultural mushrooms, we humans farm for human consumption. It appears as though that secret process where the termites eat the spores and mix it all up with digested soil and decaying matter, then poop it all out to form the fungus comb, is essential for the fungus to thrive and eventually send up its mushrooms to the surface, most often during a lightning storm. To this day, if we humans want these termitomyces mushrooms, we still need to go out into the wild to hunt for them at Macrotermes gilvis termite mounds. So many of you AC family are as excited as I am about being the first in the world to possibly successfully produce these tasty termitomyces mushrooms indoors in a termite setup. I expect that if any of our termite colonies do successfully go on to become massive termite colonies, it will take a good year or so before we do start seeing any mushrooms sprouting up from their setups. But before that, we'll have to make sure we give our termites all the resources and care they need to actually get to that stage. A few of you have been commenting that you missed the videos on ant colonies, and I have had a couple videos on ants over the past month. Do check out the videos on giant forest ants on my channel. But in caring for these termites, I found that they too are not only very important to the ecosystem, 
and are much more complex in integration into the very ecology of the planet, but also that termites are almost as cool as ants. If you really have a good look at their lives, there are fungus growing leafcutter ants in the world, but mushrooms don't sprout from their nests that humans can eat. But in these termites, there actually is a significant agricultural product for humans, the mushrooms. And my hopes is that in documenting the journey of these fungus farming termites, we on this channel might help scientists understand more about them and thereby understand how we can use the termites to grow some pretty tasty mushrooms and how important it is to conserve global habitats so that termites, like those of our beloved colonies, can perform their multiple and important jobs in the food web. Now before we go, let's move on from termite keeping to ant keeping for a sec. I wanted to quickly announce that now is the perfect time to get into the ant keeping hobby as we are having an incredible holiday sale at AntsCanada.com where we are offering 10% off on all ant farms and outworlds at the shop. Plus you can get a free ant keeping handbook when you use the coupon code AntsCanada. Just add it to your cart when you order and punch in the code to get it for free. Our ant keeping products make a great gift idea for all your ant and nature loving friends and family. I'd love for all of you guys to keep ants with us. If you need ant colonies, we even have a section on the website where you can source locally caught and raised ant colonies with a queen for your ant farms. This promo ends January 1st, 2023, so you have time. Also worth noting, we don't guarantee pre-Christmas delivery and duty charges may apply for non-US residents. Thank you all for watching. I will surely keep you all updated on the progress of our termites. We are all on the leading edge of science, AC family. I know there is still lots to discover ahead. So be sure to subscribe to follow this ongoing story. It's ant and termite love forever.